Hey guys, welcome back to Abandonware Adventures and in this episode we're going to be playing Sim Farm. <laughs> Listen to that music. So if you guys want to see me play another kind of Abandonware then just let me know in the comments down below. Just remember it's got to be free, it's got to be downloadable, it's got to be complete and it's got to be abandoned by the original developers. So in this episode we're going to be playing Sim Farm and I'm just going to play this for a while. There is no real end goal as far as I know, uh, but we're gonna see if we can set up a farm. And this is a game I did play quite a bit as a kid, and as you can see we could uh, pick a, a region to, to play in, but I, I always like to create my own region. So let's design our own region and get right into playing the game. So uh, let's, uh, we'll want one with a river and a lake, and we will lower the rainfall. We, we want some, but not too much. Temperature, we'd like it generally high but not too hot. And wind speeds, again, we want some wind but not too high. Wind speeds, as you all know, can destroy crops. So let's generate a world and have a look at what we got here. And basically you can see there's H and there's T, that's home and the town. And basically your, your home farm interacts with the town quite a bit. So uh, I want something which... Uh, is generally quite uh, easy to access, not too far away, but um, I, I also don't want to start our home like right next to the water either. This this looks pretty good. Um, this seems like empty land as well. Let, let's generate a few more and see what, what kind of maps actually come up. Uh, and generally it seems like they're, they're, they're pretty much the same kind of maps. Actually, we might want to increase the rainfall a little bit. That That might make the world a bit greener. I'm just guessing, and it does, yes, actually, okay, th this looks much nicer. Now, like that, I don't want the home starting next to the water, it makes it very difficult to deal with, uh, or starting next to the edge like that, it makes it very difficult to deal with. So I want some empty land to build on. Uh, I suppose that's an okay start, it starts mm, right next to this, but we can build a road across to the town like that, and this should be an okay start. So let's go ahead and play. And here we go. Um, this is where we're starting. We do have a little bit of water in our land, so that's a little unfortunate, but we should be able to manage. And, um, well, let's let's get this started then. Uh, first of all, uh, let's pause the game, because this is based on uh, dates and time. So, first things first, we start with 40,000 cash. Let's clear up these rocks uh, to, to make things a bit more... Uh, easier to manage. We should also get rid of these trees, actually. Um, but trees do act as windbreaks. So on maps which have a lot of wind, very strong winds, you can actually plant trees to, to help deal with that. So, uh, uh, we can't bulldoze that, but we do have the magnifying glass. And this, as you can see, it's homestead, where the heart is. Do well and it will be your dream house. And over here, it's the town. See? Town area. Boy, does fun stuff happen here. Uh, and you can loan money from the bank, like that. Credit limit's about 50,000. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there's a farm expert. You can ask him about all kinds of things. It's basically like an in-game wiki. Machinery information, crop information, and all of that. And uh, th these two things don't actually mean much. Uh, so, uh, first things first. Uh, I do would prefer these trees gone, actually. Okay, there we go. First things first, uh, we want to figure out what we're actually going to plant. So as you can see, there's a market value. Now, uh, th there's a good and bad to this. Um, basically, if it's high, it's going to cost a lot to plant. But if it's uh, high, it's also going to make you a lot of money. Now, there's a lot of crops here. And one thing that I find interesting is actually, uh, I, s I saw you can actually load crop into the game. So for example, if you want another kind of crop to be in here. So for example, let's say we want, uh, what, what crops do we have here? Sweet potato, tomato, tobacco. Uh, let's say we want almonds, right? Let's say we want to grow almonds. We can replace a crop that's in here with almonds. So. I'm, I'm not going to be growing any lettuce on this map because that's way too boring. So I could ju just go ahead and put almonds there. And I can check how much almonds are worth now. And it's, uh, well, it's not going to make us a lot of money, but I really like to grow almonds. I just feel like doing it. So let's go ahead and plant. Uh, actually, it, it should have some uh, suggestions, actually, of what we should be growing. Like suggested crops. I'm not sure 
where it would show that. Um, I, I remember there is a way to see, like, suggested crops. Ah, there, suggested crops. So it suggests that we grow corn, what's that, barley, uh, things like that. Corn, I suppose, is a traditional American plant to, to, to grow. Um, we could plant corn. I don't see why not. We can plant some corn. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a road that goes up to the side there. And I'm going to plant my first field of corn there. And because I want to, I'm going to plant almonds, right? I'm going to plant almonds uh, right here. I'll give a bit of space from that water. I don't want to... Should I rather do it like this? Okay, I'm going to put almonds right... Does that leave enough space for... Yeah, it does leave enough space for another row. So almonds are going to go right there. And we're going to build a nice uh, dirt road, which... Uh, oh, that's a little misclick. Going to build a nice dirt road over there. And I also want to... I'm going to bulldoze that fence and send a dirt road all the way over to the town. So this, this road doesn't have to be too straight. It can just kind of go like that along this uh, river. Uh, do, do you like the sound effects? <laughs> uh, and the, the road can just go right across like that. And connect. So now there's a road connecting the town right into my farm. And uh, that should be a good enough start, though we do want to buy a few more things. Uh, there's a few buildings. Let's see. Silo stores up to one harvested crop. Um, a large silo stores up to four harvested crops. Okay, so we'll get a large silo right next to our home here. There we go. And we also need some machinery. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if... Uh, this is something that we should be doing, but uh, I remember doing this quite a lot. Okay, uh, nine spaces of seed for speed, spray, and livestock storage. Let's get a large shed. Nine spaces of seed and machinery storage. So we'll get a large shed and stick it right there. And in the shed, you can then put a uh, uh, water pump, windmill, water tower. We'll get a couple small silos actually, just in case, since we can fit them right there. There we go. Uh, now we can buy machinery, there we go. Requires for pulling various pieces of machinery. Sounds like we'll need a few of those. Uh, there we go. Two, two tractors, I guess. Uh, plow, pull by a tractor. This tills for the, the soil for planting. We'll need probably one of those. Uh, what else? Uh, planter, to plant crops. We'll probably need one of those. Uh, what else do we got here? A sprayer, uh, yes, we'll definitely need a sprayer, it's for, um, it's for uh, pesticides and fertilizers. Harvester, well, we're gonna need a harvester, aren't we? There we go. And, uh, trailer, pulled by harvester, this holds harvested crops. And a truck, uh, well, we'll need a trailer. Fit one of those in there. Uh, and uh, a truck transports harvested crops to silos and the town. Okay, so we don't need a... Uh, is that the last thing we need actually? Truck crop duster. Oh, that's a bit fancy. Okay, we're gonna need a, a truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another building. Uh, another large shed, I think. I'll just put it right there. We'll probably use that eventually anyway. So let's go ahead and get... Uh, not a crop duster, a truck. I'm gonna put a truck there. Okay, good. So, um, I suppose that's a good enough start as any. Let's go ahead and set the speed up to fast, get things going. Okay, actually, no, let's set the speed to normal first. So as you can see here, there's a few things going on. Uh, these icons show that there's some problems. This means there's too much water. So what you can do is you can just put an irrigation ditch right next to it, and it'll deal with the surplus water. At least that's what I remember it doing. And th this symbol here means it needs... Oh, there you go, the water symbol's gone. It needs some fertilizer. So let's fertilize that and fertilize this. And that, I think, means there's um, a fungicide, uh, some disease there. So we're gonna spray that fungicide as well. And there we go. And as you can see, we got lovely almonds growing. Uh, current crop quality is bad because uh, uh, it hasn't grown anything, but there we go. Um, everything in the green means it's gonna have a good yield. 
And there we go. And we can just go ahead and plant a few more things. Let's uh, get more... Another set of corn, I think. Uh, I suppose we could just put it right there, really. Another corn, and we could put another almonds. We're gonna be corn and almond uh, farm, I think. Why can't I place that there? Oh, it needs to be one spaced apart. Okay, that's fine. And we can just send an irrigation ditch around the side. Like that. And we can send a dirt road round. Like that. Ooh, there we go. And do some spraying. Fertilizer. Both need these needs fertilizers. And looks like this needs some pesticide. There we go. And we're we're going along quite nicely, aren't we? Um That tractor's totally trapped there. Uh <laughs> there we go. Uh, probably to make this a little bit simpler, I'm gonna open up this side as well. To allow the tractors and stuff to travel around like that. There we go. So everything's looking quite nice here. We can send that there. And there we go, we've got our first farm going. Uh, we'll just send this around like that because it looks nice. Okay, there we go. So, there's a few other things you can do here. We can have livestock, but I find it's a little tricky because uh, if you have cows around, they actually can break the fence and send things... Uh, well, it can be quite quite difficult, really, uh, to deal with that. Uh, but let's go ahead and set this to fast so we can see how this first year goes through. Uh, we're currently in the second week of May. <coughs> Excuse me. But how's this town doing? This town seems to be quite bustling. I don't know why there's so many cars in such a small town. This actually looks a lot like SimCity 1, doesn't it? I think it's the similar engine going on there. Ooh, that's uh, that's something there. Um, let's uh, slow this down. What does that actually mean? I gotta double check this, what that, that symbol means. Um, let's see. Too many weeds in the field. Okay, so weeds means we need uh, to spray herbicide. There we go. And that should deal with that. Okay, things looking pretty good here. Uh, it's currently May, so I want to see how much money this makes us. We're currently at about 20,000. And I want to see what this first yield of crop actually does for us, uh, as, uh, as best we can do it. And one thing you can do is, to expand your farm, you, you need to be able to buy more land, right? Uh, so let's see. Uh, how do we buy more land? There we go. So we can actually buy more land to the side, but uh, one one plot of land doesn't quite fit for uh, extra fields, so it can be a little awkward. Uh, but once we make some more money, we can buy more land to the side here and expand our, our farming business. So, it's currently June. Let's speed it up a, a bit more until things start happening. So week three of June, even on ultra speed, this doesn't really go that fast, does it? <laughs> oh, there's some storms going on. But generally, our crops are looking good. No no real issues. Uh, what's the mature of, maturity of these crops? Oh, it's actually quite good. See, the, these crops actually make quite a bit of money. You can see these are making uh, close to a thousand now. These almonds seem like they're not... Ooh, winds have increased to a dangerous level. Protect your fields from nutrient loss by placing trees nearby. Okay, okay. Let's uh, slow things down. Now we can place trees. I guess we just have them in the general vicinity. Um, that, that actually gives me an idea. You, we don't want these roads sort of just uh, doing that. Uh, ooh, looks like we gotta spray some fertilizer here. On all four. And I'm going to plant a row of trees right here uh, to try and uh, negate the effects of the that wind they were talking about. Uh, oh, they want more fertilizer? Okay, more fertilizer, fertilizer it is then. And there we go. It's still asking for more fertilizer? Jeez, these things need a lot of fertilizer. This is all costing money, you know? <laughs> Look at my money, it's dropping... Oh, there we go, we're harvesting some crops, though. 
first batch of corn, which, <coughs> excuse me, which means we can sell that for two thousand dollars. That's a nice enough start. There we go. Uh, don't know why these are asking for so much fertilizer though. Wind speed is back to normal. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, nutrient loss. Oh, the winds were actually causing nutrient loss, which meant that we needed to uh, fertilize more. Uh, field is busy. Oh, okay. So, come on, plant that corn. And I'm gonna... There we go. Fertilize it once more. So, uh, one thing we can do to speed things up is to take a loan. And uh, we did just collect a bit more stuff there so we can sell that another 2000 let's sell that now we can we do have livestock we could sell that stuff no okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna be bold i'm gonna take a fifty thousand dollar loan right so that's a lot of money i'm gonna enter that amount and press okay so now i got a lot of cash and i'm gonna slow things down and i'm gonna expand my farm so what I want is I want to expand this way to the left. So I'm going to buy this plot. I'm going to buy this plot. Uh, and I'm going to buy... Should I buy two more or should that be enough? Um, I'm going to buy one more up here. Okay, so I'm back at 20,000 but I have a lot more land. And I got to use this land to make more money otherwise I'm not going to be able to pay off that loan. So let's uh, clear off these fences. I'm not sure if a farm can actually fit there, but let's see. Uh, corn is doing quite well. Uh, we can actually just about fit a cornfield right there. Um, that should do actually. Uh, gonna plant corn there. Corn's always nice. Let, let's plant a bunch of corn. Uh, we need a way of for the roads to get there actually. I guess if we do this and then we just build those we'll we'll get rid of this fence here. And we'll just put the irrigation ditch in the middle like that. And then the tractors can actually reach those things. So gotta fertilize, gotta fertilize. Why can't I fertilize this? Field is busy. Oh it hasn't been planted yet, of course. There we go, fertilize that, and we got a uh, herbicide, this one, for the weeds. Good, so uh, we're expanding our business here, as you can see. Uh, we'll get rid of that fence, it looks weird. And we'll open something up there. Good, so uh, we spent a lot of money, but we put in two extra fields of corn there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, ooh, we're actually harvesting some almonds. Let's see how much this is worth. So, we should have two batches of almonds going. Wow, they're worth... At poor quality, they're worth that much? Jeez, I should have planted more almonds. Wow, okay. Uh, well, there's some money. Okay, well, after these four fields of corn, well, uh, I, I think I'm gonna focus on almond planting. This is gonna be an almond plantation. Uh, so, let's put some trees there. Uh, it looks nice as well. Uh, so we can... We're not gonna be expanding down this way, so there we go. Just these rows of trees will actually help look after our, uh, our farm. Uh, I will also... Just for aesthetics reason, I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue playing this for a while and I'm going to expand my farm and make a lot more money and I'm going to show you how things go. Oh, would you look at this? I get to choose an improvement for the town. The town is purchasing a new plot of land. The mayor is asking voters to vote on what kind of plot should be built. Click on your preference for what kind of plot the town should build. Uh, build recreational airport commercial or residential um well uh i don't really know i guess residential is always good uh commercial could help sell things um let's build up the population a little bit let's uh let's put down some residential uh warning you are unable to make a payment on the bank loan the bank will foreclose on you in three months if you do not pay soon that's not so good. Um, I did change everything to almonds, but that uh, that caused a little bit of problem. 
I guess, uh, oh, my credit limit is, has gone down, actually. Uh, maybe that loan was not such a good idea, uh, because these almonds, they take, uh, oh, I guess I could, I could just harvest it now. I think, uh, if I cut, if I press cut, does that mean it harvests? I, I don't know. Um, well, let's find out. Uh, because uh, if we don't uh, make that payment soon, uh, it was not harvested in time. Uh oh. Was that? Oh, was that because I cut it? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that 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 didn't quite work out as planned. We're just gonna have to replant that. Um, I guess we're gonna. Uh, just uh, have to sell some stuff, really. I bought these cows, but um, I guess uh, we'll have to sell those. Um, it, I did make a little bit of money on those. Uh, they actually went up from like 450 to um, uh, to about 500 something. Uh, so we gotta deal with that, and we gotta deal with this. Uh, once this next batch of uh, crops does actually get harvested, we will... Uh, oh, another month has passed and you still don't have enough money to pay your loan. Jeez, uh, how much money do I have to pay? Quarterly payment 2,800. Jeez, okay, uh, I don't know. What can we sell? We could sell some equipment. It's not really worth much, is it? Uh, well, we could sell that. 2,800 and as for. We're just gonna have to buy this stuff back later on uh there we go we, we're gonna we're gonna pay pay it off with that much money i'm not gonna spray any more things here uh <laughs> i probably expanded a little too quickly but oh there we go there's some residential area in the town and looking quite nice uh town area uh so that looks good uh town will probably have to expand a bit more than that though so, um, let's just wait another month and uh, we'll pay off our loans and then we're just gonna have to wait for these almonds to be ready to be harvested because, as you can see, they're worth quite a bit, but it just takes so long to grow them. The, is, was that actually current value winter 2015? Is, yeah, that's what we're in now. This is only halfway through maturity. Jeez. And the price seems to fluctuate as well. Uh, going up and down depending on market prices, I'm guessing. Well, uh, we're gonna have to just wait it out then. Oh, we can actually sell land back, uh, which I think I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna sell this land back. Uh, there we go, 16,000. Everything we built there is now gone. Uh, but that was probably a better option than uh, selling our stuff. I didn't realize we could actually sell our our land back. Uh, we gotta deal with this though. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just hold it out uh, and we'll probably have to buy some of our uh, stuff, our, these things back. What did I actually sell? I can't even remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sold a, a truck. Uh, so I'm gonna buy our vehicles back and just wait for this batch of almonds to be uh, sold off. Oh, there we go. We're harvesting a whole bunch of almonds and it's just a little too late because... Uh, let's drop the speed again. So all the almonds have been reset. It's the first week of September. Looks like they're harvested in autumn. Oh, well, late summer, I guess. And it's just a little too late because, as you can see, the price peaked at, at up there and it was like 20,000. So uh, I'm, I, I probably do have to sell some of it right now. Uh, let's see, let's go to crops. We'll sell uh, uh, some, a fair batch like that. Uh, but I'm going to hold on to the rest of it until the price really does peak. So I'm going to keep an eye on almond prices and see if it actually does go up to an amazing amount. Because if it does, then I could sell it all and it would be worth quite a bit. But for now, we're going to hold on with this 9,000 here and uh, just keep track of the, the almond prices here. So if it does... Oh, it, it just dropped a whole bunch. So I'm just going to wait until it peaks up again and uh, then I'll sell it all. Okay, this is interesting. It looks like the price of almonds is going back up. It's around April, towards the end of April, is it? 
Okay, that, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna pause the game here. I know it might go higher, but I'm not playing the stock markets here. This is the highest it's been in, as you can see, a 30 week history. 14,000 for a perfect batch, I'm guessing. So I had to sell two batches, uh, but uh, we do have another four going for us here. Uh, so I'm gonna sell all of... Oh, three more there. Okay, I had to sell a few batches to keep myself afloat. But there we go, we're back at 30,000 and uh, we should probably use that. Ooh, that's a bit... Uh, ooh, estimated taxes, 6,000. Quarterly loan payment, 2,800. We should try pay off uh, some of our uh, loan here. Uh, if I pay off... Quarterly payment is 2,800. If I pay off 20,000... Like that. The quarterly payment is still... Can I not repay that? Maybe I gotta put the speed back up. Can I not repay? No, I can't repay. That's strange. Interest rate is 9, 2,800. Never mind. I guess I'll just... I'll just keep paying it, I guess. Uh, so, uh, this next batch of almonds does seem to be... Uh, all synchronized, which is good. Uh, and I'm guessing that this peak in price... Oh, it did go up further. So this peak in price might be a yearly thing. So, uh, seems like it's May? Second week of May, I guess? So I might want to hold on to the... Uh, the almonds until next May, and then sell them then. That might be the, the strategy I'm going for here. Uh, so... I th because I think it was about this time as well, this this time May, uh, that the peak, uh, the price peaked last time. But basically if it hits 17,000-ish, that's the time to sell. So because after this I'm pretty sure it's gonna drop... Have, ooh, whoa, it just jumped <laughs> up to 21, wow, okay. So basically if it crosses 21, that's the peak time to sell almonds. Now these aren't being harvested anytime soon, I think. I accidentally sprayed that field. Uh, let's get some fungicide going. Uh, these aren't being harvested anytime soon. Well, uh, so no, it, it, not anytime soon. It, it's harvested late summer last time, it, I think it was. Herbicide onto that one. So we're still going on ultra speed here. And the price has probably dropped. No, it's still up there. It's 25,000. That's insane. Almonds have, have peaked in price. So let's get these things going. Uh, if we harvest them anytime soon, then we'll be able to sell it for that price, but I don't think we'll be able to harvest it in time for it to take advantage of this price peak. If uh, we could only, you know, get them in, in in time, and we could make a ton of money, imagine. Selling each one of these fields for 20,000 will be loaded with cash, and we could buy our land back. Uh, but uh, not everything's that easy, is it? See, the price drops right back down. So basically, once it crosses 20,000, that's the time to sell. So I'm gonna wait until we harvest this batch of uh, almonds. And it looks like they're all grade A, high quality almonds. And uh, I'm gonna hold on to them until maybe next midsummer and sell them off once the price peaks again. Actually, the price went back up. If it stays above 20,000, I will sell them for that price. Okay, there we go, we're harvesting the almonds. So, uh, let's grab them all up, get them all into the silos, there we go. And we're gonna pause the game, just to check the price. Where are we? we are, oh, we're at a good price for almonds! Oh, I can't even believe it! Look at that! Whoa, we hit the mother load! Ah, oh, they're all grade A high quality almonds. So, let's just go ahead and sell, 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 sell. And let the game continue at a normal pace. And look at that, 172,000. Ooh, okay, well, uh, that's a, a big kickstart to our economy. And also, I forgot to mention that uh, they asked me to build something in the town again. I said a commercial area, because I thought commercial area was a good idea after a residential area. So, uh, that, that gives us something to, to work on. Uh, I'm going to buy this land to the left. Uh, so we got plenty of cash, I'm gonna buy plenty of land, and I think I'm gonna stick to an almond economy here. Uh, I'm just gonna buy it right up to the edge there. Okay, th uh, I think it's, it's an almond economy, so I'm gonna just uh, bulldoze this off. Uh, we could get rid of this as well, actually. Okay, there we go. 
We'll get rid of that. And I'm gonna fit in a bunch more almond farms here. Uh, speed, let's let's uh, pause it actually. I'm gonna plant almonds. Almonds, where are they? Almonds. They've, they've worked for me quite well so far. So I'm just gonna stick to it. All right, here we go. We're harvesting another batch of almonds. As you can see, uh, I did manage to fit in two more fields. I wanted to buy more on this side, but I just uh, I just couldn't because um, uh, oh, my money just went up. Is it because I was forced to sell one, two? No, I should still have yeah six items. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have eight fields, but only space for. Six. Oh, I see. So it automatically sold two because I don't have space to store it, which was unfortunate. Ah, I didn't realize that because uh, uh, it wasn't a peak time to sell. Uh, but I suppose I had to sell some of those anyway. But um, just to, to make sure things are actually held properly, I should put down another big silo. I guess down here is good as a place as any. How much does that actually cost, actually? 2,400, geez, okay. Uh, so, uh, there's that. Uh, so, uh, basically what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to wait for the almond prices to hike back up to above 20,000 and sell the rest of it. Um, which uh, might happen, but in general... Uh, what was that? Did something just blow up? Was it the town? Whoa, wait, the commercial, the commercial district just disappeared. Why would they do that? Did they not need a commercial district? Um, well, I'm not too sure why that happened. Maybe my recent batch of almonds scared them away. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a bit confusing. Uh, so, um, I guess I could wait until the almonds go up and sell, but I think that generally ex shows you what Sim Farm is like. I'm not sure why this graphical glitch is going on there, but that were, that's Sim Farm. Uh, and basically, it, it takes quite a long time. This is already, this, this is just an hour of gameplay, really, at ultra speed, by the way. So I've been playing at ultra speed for an hour, and I've only got eight fields here. I could get a couple more if I sold all my crops, but I'm waiting for almonds to, to, to hike back up in price. And I'm, I'm really not sure how to improve this, because if you look at the evaluation tab, you can see town growth productivity, not the best. Perhaps you should mix your crops so you have something that that's more regularly sold. Um, like almonds only harvest once a year. Some of these I know harvest twice a year, like maybe strawberries. Strawberries grow a bit more uh, regularly along with, I think, corn. Corn was actually growing much faster than uh, some of these other things. Also, if you have a mix of crops, you could sell the ones like carrots. You can see carrots actually is worth a lot. Uh, actually, no, even though it's up there, that's like 7,000. It's not as much as almonds is sometimes. So it, you, you got to optimize. These soybeans stay up quite a bit. So uh, having a mix of crops actually allows you to to deal with problems a lot more fluidly. Focusing just on almonds, basically if almonds aren't doing too well, then uh, well, everything's not doing too well. But in general, that's Sim Farm, and I think I'll end this video here because uh, basically from here on out, it's just expanding your farm bigger and bigger, and maybe getting, if you get the airport over on this side, on the town side, then you can get the crop dusters and things like that. But uh, that is Sim Farm. So uh, if you want to see me play any more Abandoned Wear, just leave a comment down below. You know the criteria for that. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.